The ESP32 is a wireless microcontroller that's really popular with makers and hobbyists. But what about using it in a commercial product that will be mass manufactured? Is that realistic? And if so, is it a good or a bad idea to use an ESP32 in your product? Well, that's what I'm going to answer for you in this video. Plus, near the end of this video, I'm going to share a few inspirational product examples for you, so be sure to check that out. The ESP32 is available in several versions, but they're all based on a high-performance 32-bit microcontroller available in single or dual-core versions. They are also embedded with various wireless radios. There are versions that support only Wi-Fi, versions that support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and even versions that support Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, and Thread. Well, before answering if the ESP32 is a good solution for mass production, let's first quickly discuss if it's a good fit for your application. First of all, does your product need a microcontroller or a microprocessor? Although the ESP32 is a very high performance microcontroller, it's not to be confused with a microprocessor. Although it can still be used along with a microprocessor for adding wireless functionality to a system. Well, at this point, let's assume you do need a microcontroller. Well, the next question is, do you need Wi-Fi? If the answer is yes, you need Wi-Fi, well, then the ESP32 is most likely a fantastic solution. If you don't need Wi-Fi and you don't ever anticipate ever needing it in the future, well, then the ESP32 is likely not a good choice. If you need other wireless protocols in addition to Wi-Fi, such as Bluetooth, Zigbee, or Thread, well, then the ESP32 is still a great choice. However, if you don't need Wi-Fi, there are likely better choices for adding these other wireless protocols that will consume less power. For example, I really like the Nordic NRF52 series of 32-bit wireless microcontrollers for adding Bluetooth to your product. Okay, but what about using the ESP32 for mass production, assuming that it's a good solution for your product? Well, I have good news. Unlike other popular DIY development boards such as Arduino and Raspberry Pi, the ESP32 is a fantastic option for a commercial product. In fact, we'll look at a few successful products that use the ESP32 later in this video. The ESP32 happens to be one of my favorite solutions for new commercial products that need Wi-Fi. This is partially because the ESP32 has a smooth upgrade path from early prototyping all the way to mass manufacturing. You can purchase ESP32 development boards like this one here that are great for early prototyping and these are very similar to using an Arduino, only a lot more powerful. Most makers and hobbyists use these development boards since a custom PCB design isn't required. But these development boards can also sometimes be embedded inside products for sale, at least initially. This isn't usually feasible for most products, but if you have the space and your budget is severely limited, this can be a cheap way to get units in the market as soon as possible. And I always encourage you to take the path that allows you to get something in the hands of paying customers as soon as possible and for as little capital as possible. The next step up from development boards are surface mount modules that can be soldered directly onto your main PCB. These modules are typically used for moderate manufacturing volumes up to a few hundred thousand units. They are available with either an onboard PCB antenna or with the connector for using an external antenna. And you can see here on this module, this is the, this, or this development kit, this is the module, and you can see extending over the edge of the board is the PCB antenna, but you can also get one that has an, just a, a plug for connecting an external antenna. One of the main reasons to use these modules is that they're pre-certified, which simplifies the emissions certification process if used in a commercial product. In the U.S., this would be your FCC certification, and in Europe, it falls under CE certification. Well, by using these modules, you also greatly simplify your design because they've taken care of all the complex RF design. Designing custom wireless circuits is complex and expensive, so these modules eliminate a lot of that complexity and design risk for you. Finally, for very high volume production that's usually over a few hundred thousand units, you can purchase the ESP32 as a bare chip 
for use in a fully custom RF design. Typically, this only makes sense to upgrade to a bare chip design if you're trying to really squeeze out more profit margin or if you have some serious size constraints. One of the other things about the ESP32 that makes it a great option for use in commercial products is it's really cheap, especially considering all that it includes. Espressif, the maker of the ESP32, is a Chinese company, so their prices are very affordable for use in products that are mass produced. And the ESP32 also has a large user base with lots of online resources and support that's available, which is really helpful during the development process. And the ESP32 is one of the most popular choices used by members inside my Hardware Academy program, so you can get lots of help in there too. Be sure you download your free guide from prototype to production with the ESP32 using the link in the description below, or just go to predictabledesigns.com forward slash ESP32. Okay, let's now take a look at a few successful products on the market that use the ESP32. The first one we're going to look at is the Sawnoff POW Elite. And the POW Elite is a smart power meter switch based on the ESP32 that allows users to track the power consumption of appliances in their house in real time. Users can also control and monitor their home appliances remotely using their smartphone. It can also interact through voice assistance like Alexa, so you can use voice control to turn things in your house on or off. The second example is the Simply Safe. Simply Safe is a big success story in the field of smart home security systems, and the ESP32 allows their cameras and sensors to communicate wirelessly with the product's base station. Simply Safe disrupted the entire market by offering the only home security option that didn't require customers to sign a yearly contract with high monthly fees. They're also installed by customers themselves, so you don't pay an installation fee. This means that renters, not just homeowners, can easily add the system to their homes. And then the third example is our Wemo Smart Plugs by Belkin. And Belkin Wemo Smart Plugs are just another type of smart plug that lets users remotely operate their home appliances or anything that's plugged into the Wemo Smart Plug. These smart plugs use the ESP32 to connect to a range of home automation systems and devices via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The ESP32's Capacity to provide connectivity contributed to the plug's commercial success by making it compatible with many smart home ecosystems like Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa. If you found this video helpful, then definitely check out this video here where I review 10 of the most common product development mistakes.